Today, we're going to go over some of the instruments that you can play if you are in orchestra, and we'll also go over some of their advantages and some of their disadvantages. Let's start with the violin. First of all, the violin is the smallest of the string family, and because of this, it's actually pretty light. Um, it's also the least expensive out of all the instruments when you get a student model. Uh, because of how popular it is, um, you have the most amount of songs written for the violin. Now, this does include both classical music as well as popular music. Because of the popularity of the violin, there are the largest amount of teachers around that do teach violin. And because of this, you end up having a large selection of possible teachers to, to take private lessons from. The violin uses the treble clef, which is one of the more common clefs uh, for playing instruments. And if you've already played piano, then you would already be familiar with the treble clef. The sound of the violin is, is very bright and very vibrant, and so it's uh, very commonly used in orchestras, if you want to play in an orchestra. It's also used for fiddle and for bluegrass, for uh, oftentimes jazz music, and in many other settings. So it's, it's a pretty versatile instrument. One of the disadvantages of the violin is that because it is so popular, so many people play it, and because of this, there ends up being a lot of competition. This includes, at the collegiate level, uh, finding scholarships for violin, and after college, finding uh, paying positions as an orchestra member. Next up, we have the viola. Now, the viola is overall still a, a smaller instrument. It's comparable in size to the violin, as well uh, also as in price to the violin. And the technique is pretty similar to violin as well. And lots of people, even if they don't teach viola uh, specifically, they can, they can help with some of the basic technique. So a lot of violinists, in fact, do teach viola as well. Um, there is actually much less competition uh, for violas, and this is actually because uh, the viola is slightly harder to play. Uh, it's a little bit uh, trickier to get a good sound out of the viola, but that does mean that the viola ends up having a softer and more mellow sound than the violin. Because there are fewer violas and therefore less competition for uh, viola positions, uh, there's often a greater chance for scholarships in colleges, as well as paid orchestra positions for violists. Since there are fewer viola players, um, that does mean that there aren't quite as many songs written for viola as there are for violin. And also that there are not as many uh, teachers for uh, specifically for viola. And the viola also uses a unique uh, clef for reading the notes, which is called the alto clef, which is not used very frequently. And so it's a bit of an adjustment either to learn the alto clef or to go from learning the alto clef to learning another clef. Next we have the cello, uh, which is very popular. It has uh, quite a bit of music, both uh, modern, both pop music, as well as quite a bit of classical music as well. The technique for cello is slightly easier than the violin, and the cello has a nice, full, rich sound to it. Uh, the cello also uses a clef known as the bass clef, which is also one of the most common clefs. And once again, if you've played piano before, uh, bass clef uh, should be pretty familiar to you. Now, the cello is a bigger instrument, and because of this, it's easier for it to get bumped, it's harder to, to transport it, and it's harder to carry it. It's also a more expensive instrument, and it can be trickier to find a, a good cello teacher, especially a cello teacher whose primary instrument is the cello. Finally, we have the upright bass, or the contrabass. It's one of the most versatile instruments, as it plays in both orchestras, in jazz, in uh, in band music, as well as actually is in rock music as well. It has uh, very low, deep sounds, and uh, just a very uh, calming sound to it. Because of its versatility, as well as the rarity of bass players, bass players often have the most opportunity for different paying gigs. The bass is, however, the biggest of the string family. Um, it is very easy for it to get bumped and, again, hard to transport and hard to carry. It is also the most expensive out of all of the instruments. Because of how low in pitch the bass is, it's not often used as a melody instrument. And because of this, there's not quite as much solo literature for the bass. Because of the way the bass is tuned, it's the most unique out of all of the string instruments. And it's also the most difficult string instrument to find a good private instructor for. So these are the different instruments that you could play in a string orchestra program.